Well, today for the children's moment, I have put together a prize basket. It's got some pretty amazing things inside it. We've got a little car, we have some chocolate, sunglasses, Lego paints, all kinds of amazing things inside this basket. Now I brought this to help us visualize what it would be like to be a part of a story that I'm about to tell you today. Now this story takes place in a small town in Africa. A man came to this small town and he brought a special basket with him filled with all kinds of goodies. Now in Africa, one of the things that the kids love are fruits and they gathered fruits from all the surrounding towns in Africa and that was the prize in the basket. And the kids were excited to see all the fruit in that basket. So the man went to the group of kids and he said, I'm going to have a contest. Somebody's going to win all the prizes in this basket. So I'm going to put it over there. And when I say go, run. And the first person to get to the basket gets everything inside it. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I mean, I don't know how many of you would be excited to win this. Just imagine what that would be like. You'd be getting ready at the starting line, ready to win everything in that basket. So we set the basket to the side and he said, go. And nobody started running toward the basket. But what they did was they all reached out to each other's hands and they walked up together toward the basket. And they all got there at the same time and they sat down and they shared all the items in the basket. Well, that seems kind of strange because we're used to having one person win the big prize. But, you know, that, that's kind of confusing for us. And it was kind of confusing for the man who ran the right race. So he asked the kids, why didn't one of you just run for the prize? And a little girl answered and said, well, if one of us won, one of us would be happy and the rest of us will be really sad. This way, everybody is happy. And in that African village, they call that Ubuntu, which means that you all share together and everybody is happy. And this was something that the whole village did. They practiced Ubuntu so everyone was happy. In the Bible, the early church in the book of Acts did this exact same thing. They shared so that everybody was happy. In Acts chapter 4, verse 32, it says, All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. They shared their food, they made sure everyone had a place to stay, people were warm, and everyone took care of each other. Now this was a concept that was very important in the early church, and it is something we should continue to do as well. We want to take care of each other, make sure that someone doesn't have too much or that someone doesn't have too little. So I want to encourage you to think about Ubuntu and what are ways that you can be loving and caring and sharing so that everybody is happy.